Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We are back again from another episode, it's episode 62 and in today's episode we are going to be playing in the draft. Now in the last episode we finished off the weekend league, uh, we you know, we were 4 and 6 or something, I just decided I couldn't be bothered to play on. Uh, so I finished off that, uh, didn't actually show you the rewards uh, and I don't show you in, in them in this episode. Uh, I believe I got like uh, an 80 and 82 for red picks and then the pack was terrible so... I just skipped it uh, so that was genuinely awful um, and I just couldn't be bothered to play so that that was fun uh, but we're now obviously going to move on into a draft and hopefully we can go and win it because I've been winning quite a few drafts recently to be fair uh, we're going to start off the draft quite nice we had the chance of a Ronaldinho by uh, the 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 boy that's uh, tried and tested and that is Neymar I just think he's a little bit better than Ronaldinho's baby card this year uh, so we're going to go with him. Uh, we also got the chance of using Kramerich as well. Obviously one of this new signed promo. He's a new card in the game. I wanted to try him out. And of course he links to Vlasic as well. Uh, so that is really, really decent for chemistry. Uh, and actually I used him in the draft obviously. And he was genuinely quite good. Uh, his long shots seem to be quite decent. You know, especially his finesse shots. Um, and yeah, I, I actually like the card. The only problem is obviously he's not the quickest and he's not the, got the greatest of skills. But if you're looking for like a striker that's just going to finish shots, he's your man, honestly. Especially if you're running like a Bundesliga side, I would genuinely recommend him. Especially over like Lewandowski or something, I would go for this card. He, he's really, really good. Uh, so moving in this draft, then we're getting a few players from different promos, a few just pretty dead cards, though. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I mean, we're getting like Bastioni. I mean, he's an all right in form, but he's not linking to anyone and he's not the greatest card either he's not got the greatest to pace so we do actually get a uh, nick port for goal there which is quite decent then we're gonna have to use kuyata Kuyate at centre back, which obviously isn't fantastic either. Then we're going to get ourselves a Yusuf Atal. He can slot in at right back. Uh, obviously, we'll probably have to sub him on though. Next player we're going to get is Deli Alley. That's actually quite a decent card. This is again sort of a relatively new card. Um, he's actually quite uh, quite decent. Obviously, part of the Adidas promo. Uh, he's he's actually not a bad card. Like seriously. He was decent on the ball. I would genuinely play him like as a CDM or a centre mid in like a 4 4 2. Obviously, it was a CDM for like a 4 2 3 1. He was really, really good. We then had the, had the opportunity to use another one of these new cards in Edwards, but I decided, you know what, we kind of need the chemistry. So we've gone with Mason Mount there, uh, and who will play as a right centre mid in game. The way I sort of played it was I put Neymar on up front, I brought Kramerich on as a cam, and then I played Mason Mount as a right centre mid, and I moved Pogba back into centre back, which is going to sound really 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 stupid but i just did it because we we needed someone else there over obviously kuyate who's got like 60 pace and then at right back we brought on a towel who's very very good there he was incredible he was so fast so agile and genuinely i'm super excited to maybe use use his new card that obviously he's got a part of this uh, sort of signature signed promo whatever you want to call it for black friday it looks he actually looks really really decent unfortunately people wanted to see him as like a cdm centre mid sort of card or even like a right mid not a right back but do you know what it's still gonna be quite decent and obviously he does provide decent links for the likes of raheed mares which we have in our team so he won't be the one of the worst to link to be honest i will be able to link him at, in some sort of place which is obviously decent and helpful so we do go one all down in this game which isn't fantastic it was to a, a martin odegaard as well i mean you don't really want that but anyway we're going to move forward and this time bobby fenimino is going to get the first goal of the draft for us of course anyway uh, 17 minutes on the clock he's going to do his signature celebration as well you love to see that so we are back to 1-1 one, one. but then Solskjaer's going to go on a run and he's kind of through here he's, he's, on, he's in sort of like like three on one uh, and he gets ran my whole defense i don't know how he's managed to do that i should have tackled him don't know how i didn't really uh, and he's gone through literally and chipped the keeper so we're now two one down just like that uh, this guy was actually quite a decent player i, I was kind of shocked uh, to come up against someone like half decent in the first round because normally you play someone very terrible you win like five or six nil uh, especially if you're someone like there's half decent at the game to be fair if, if you're fairly average at the game you should be winning the first game of the draft very easily uh, and obviously as well uh, uh, with the objectives that have just come out recently uh, if you win five games through the black friday sort of week weekend whatever you want to call it um you get yourself a draft token so there will be quite a few people that don't necessarily really play draft there will be of a lower skill rate in a lower level uh, that will obviously be, ta be partaking in the draft so as you can see there we literally took the penalty after he got a red card he was about to go into the back of the net 
and he literally dashboarded and let and basically made him quit but it also meant that i don't get the win because the ball didn't actually cross the line before he quit which was quite unfortunate uh, so we, that was sort of a waste of a game so then we're going to move on straight into the next one and mason mank literally two minutes on the clock he's going to get the first goal then six minutes in we're going to pick the ball with the boy roberto firmino who plays it across it's a neat, nice easy goal for neymar 2-0 then we're going to push through again not even 14 minutes on the clock a couple of like trio play there which is brilliant to see making it 3-0 um, and then we're going to make it 4-0 as well and as you can see the goals are sort of starting to rack up now we push through again uh we're going to get the ball here with the boy Kramerich. he's going to take the shot it's 5-0 it's not even well it is half an hour played and we have five goals up uh, which is actually very good obviously it averages a goal sort of every six minutes and then going to push through again Deli has got the ball literally um the fake shot stop took the shot it's six nil this is getting a little bit silly now he's going to get a goal back to be fair i wasn't even touching my controller i'm not going to lie to you i was actually like messaging on my phone wasn't looking at the screen he's got the, the the free uh, not the free kick the corner there so then we go and reply a beautiful finish from karamarich to make it seven one uh, and then he's actually eventually going to quit which was at half time and i was like thank you honestly i was absolutely peppering him as you can see just just yes thank you obviously Obviously, we didn't want to play the game for too long because it could have been like 20 nil uh, obviously 21 uh, so now we're going to move on into the second game this guy's got himself as well score uh, soul sky that we've played before in this draft he's got himself ronaldo up front with him he's got himself uh, the boy diego Carlos. he's got fred so we've got a couple of man united players uh, and obviously a couple of other decent players in there as well and we do go one nil up uh, it's quite a lucky goal to be fair obviously taking the shot with pogba and literally go falling straight to my attacker that's always quite helpful but it does happen to me a lot so i'm not too uh, like upset for my opponent if you want to put it like that uh, and then he's going to score a goal there so it kind of evened it up because we made a great save there with Pope well Pope made a great save and then obviously he got very very lucky on the rebound uh, so we now go and reply with a decent goal ourselves to make it 2-1 through Neymar and pushing again we have three on one here uh, what we're going to do we're going to whip it back post and guess who's there Kramerich unfortunately isn't a goal though uh, so we're going to take the resulting corner what can we do from this well Neymar's going to spray into Mason Mount it's a fake shot it's a turn it's a shot it's a goal Mason Mount this man is quite good uh, obviously we had him in the club uh, didn't really reckon too much to him when he played as like a camera striker but when he was at right mid he was quite good uh, and i'll be honest he's, he's quite decent in, a, in like a three midfielder situation playing him like that right center mid in like a four three one two like we are playing now he's actually quite decent so we come away with the second win as well to make it for uh with a full win there moving on into the third game this guy's got himself a mid r9 what a jamming man i want to play with someone like that uh, obviously a very top tier card in the game he's got robbie Keane as well and uh some other decent ish players but obviously not on the level of r9 uh, i suppose when you get an r9 in draft your team's not going to be that great around him well it's not going to look that great uh, and we are going to go one up mason mount again providing a goal uh, contribution it's not going to be a goal an actual goal it's scored but he's got himself an assist there and it's going to be for roberto firmino so we are one up then we brought neymar on of course he's obviously going to push through we've got a two-on-one situation we ball roll around the goalkeeper uh, after the scoop turn uh, and we have now got ourselves a penalty hopefully this guy doesn't quit this time because if we step up and score we're going to be winning uh, and which we are so we are now 2-1 up with Deli Alley being the man to go and score the penalty which is brilliant to see and then we are going to push on uh, once again we get a very jammy goal where again Lopez probably should have saved it but he's off Ken a little bit so I suppose that's why he's gone in uh, and to make it 3-1 there he's going to also quit as well so that man had mid R9 and he's quit in the 30th minute honestly mate you're a bit of a spoiled one so 7-1-4-1 and 3-1 being the three squads of, of the last three games and hopefully if we get like a 2-1 win here that would be fantastic because obviously it would carry on with the trend because uh, we have conceded a goal in every single game and we've conceded one in this one as well Dina Talley being the man to score it uh, but unfortunately we are going to concede more than one goal in this game as you can see Dino Natale's played through Lozano who has again chipped the goalkeeper uh, to make it 2-0 inside 20 minutes which isn't great uh, I'll be honest obviously following two goals down very early on isn't the best and he's actually going to make it 3-0 as well look at this from Messi are you ready he just takes the touch out of his foot takes the strike and no keeper saving that on this game I don't care who you are we even got Pope in there it was like 7 foot and he couldn't uh, reach across there to save that in the top corner uh, and it's also 
also inform Messi as well. So obviously quite lucky to get that kind of card in draft. So now in the second half, we've got a massive job on our hands being 3-0 down. We're going to get the first goal in the second half, which is brilliant to see. It hopefully gives us a little bit of hope to get something back in this game. And then Cramerich picks up the ball. He does a couple of step overs. He sees Bobby Firmino in the box. He shoots, he scores. We're back to 3-2 and I'm thinking, really, we could actually do this. So then we push forward. Deli Elliott back to Firmino with a 1-2, shoots and scores. It's 3-3. And he, we're not done there, boys. We are not done there. Uh, as you can see, we're going to pick the ball with Neymar. He's in one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper unless the defender catches him. We borrow around the goalkeeper after a scoop turn and Diara puts it in his own net. And I was buzzing at this point. What a beautiful own goal to score that was. Thank you, my good sir. Obviously, got very, very lucky with that. But then we push her again. Another roulette into the boy. Uh, that is going to be Mason Mount. And he's going to score another goal to make it 5-3 with 13 minutes to go. After being 3-0 down, in this game as well absolutely beautiful comeback but then he does push through and guess who it is it's Di Natale if he scores here we're in trouble because you just never know and he has going to score so we've got now 10 minutes to hopefully keep the game in our favour and we do just that because guess who scores it's going to be Neymar Jr Oh, we need to pick this man up. We need to buy this man because he's so good for us in draft. And we've got the chance to obviously buy him. We've got quite a few coins. Obviously, with the Black Friday crash as well, uh, it's, it's definitely made it affordable for us to go and get him uh, and actually pick him up because we've got like 700-ish K, something like that. As you can see, we're down at, well, not down at, but we've lost 5K, obviously, from doing the draft and stuff. But hopefully, we can get some money back. We've got a mega pack, which may give us something decent. I mean, it's not got a rating uh, requirement thing on it, because it's a draft reward so that's really stupid but you know uh, if we can get ourselves maybe a walkout you know just someone decent then you just never know it'll obviously boost the coin total uh, put us back over 700k which obviously would be the dream uh, and then obviously we can maybe go and pick a decent player up like i'm thinking big you know i'm thinking the name as i'm thinking maybe christian ronaldo we could probably go and afford him now because of the because of the crash it's actually ridiculous what it's done in the market but will it crash even more? That's sort of the question. Will it go just rapidly down again and then come back up? It's, it's a weird one. I don't, want to, I don't want to lose too many coins. I want to probably stick to a more untradeable side, but maybe the one or two big players, for example, Ronaldo and Neymar, that would be quite decent. So as you can see there that pack was genuinely terrible uh, and that's going to pretty much wrap up the end of the episode so if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow peace